I'm capable of playing any role, even with half the finger. Ugh. How did that happen? It didn't. Acting! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 SNL cast members. Where are they now? Now let's take a look at the stories affecting your daughters and mothers and the grouchy ladies in your office this week. For this list, we'll be looking at the best still living Saturday Night Live alums and what they've been up to since leaving the show. Who's your favorite former SNL cast member? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Andy Samberg SNL has always been a great showcase for comedy and music, but rarely do you get both from one performer. Andy Samberg made a name for himself as a member of comedy group The Lonely Island. I'm on a boat and it's going fast and I got an article theme past me. Their digital shorts brought SNL to a new level of relevance in the odds. And Samberg's work during live sketches was also first rate. After leaving SNL, Samberg starred as Detective Jake Peralta on Brooklyn Nine-Nine and in acclaimed sci-fi rom-com Palm Springs. You are saying that out there in the real world, with millions of other people to choose from, you would still choose me? Yeah, but why would I want to go back there anyway, you know? It's a world of death and poverty, debilitating emotional distress. At least in here, we get to be together. He hasn't forgotten his Lonely Island friends either, making the hilarious mockumentary pop star Never Stop Never Stopping. Number 9. Amy Poehler It should come as no surprise that Amy Poehler excelled on SNL, considering her credentials. A founding member of the Upright Citizens Brigade comedy troupe, Poehler is the first woman in SNL history to be promoted to regular in her debut season. I wish you would speak English at the dinner table. I wish I could take a pipe to your head, you okay, know what you I'm know saying? What? And between hosting Weekend Update and her impression skills, it seemed like she could do it all. For me, this job is almost a dream come true. <laughs> she showed further range by starring as Leslie Nope on Parks and Recreation and literally embodying Joy in Inside Out. Joy, yes Joy, you'll be in charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress, it's adorable. Oh, this old thing, thank you so much. I love the way it twirls. She also recently starred as the main character and his mother on animated series Duncanville. Even when we can't see Polar on screen, we can still feel her presence and enthusiasm. All of the things make me feel a lot of feelings about myself. Number 8. Bill Murray SNL finding such incredible talent in its early years helped it to become the comedy institution it remains today. And one of the greatest examples is Bill Murray, who joined in the second season. You see, I'm a little bit concerned. I don't think I'm making it on the show. I'm a funny guy, but I haven't been so funny on the show. While it took some time for Murray to find his legs, he soon became a standout, first on SNL, then as a movie star. 80s comedies like Caddyshack, Stripes, and Ghostbusters became legendary thanks in part to Murray's involvement. What are you supposed to be, some kind of a cosmonaut? <laughs> no, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. He later showed what a great dramatic actor he is, but his comedic sensibilities have remained sharp. We'll gladly watch Bill Murray's work over and over again. Morning! Uh, see the groundhog? Yeah. I think it'll be an early spring. <laughs> Didn't we do this yesterday? Number 7. Bill Hader Another beloved Bill, Bill Hader is one of SNL's finest impressionists. He also gave us one of the best recurring characters as unhinged club promoter Stefan. This place has everything. Geeks, Sherpas, a Jamaican nurse wearing a shower cap. And while we miss seeing Hater as a regular on SNL, we always welcome his return. Hater has since appeared in many films, both live action and animated. That's it! Researching, role-playing, dialing, waiting! And he's drawn acclaim for his starring role as a hitman turned actor on dark comedy Barry. A multi-time Emmy winner who's capable of making us laugh and terrifying us, Bill Hader shows just how much talent can come out of Studio 8H. Uh, uh, I did not think this was going to happen. Um. Number 6. Tina Fey Tina Fey achieved icon status as the first female head writer in SNL history, and she's made further waves in the comedy world, writing beloved teen comedy Mean Girls and creating and starring on 30 Rock. And there ain't no party like a Liz Lemon party, cause a Liz Lemon party is mandatory! The hits don't stop there either. 
Among Faye's best work are her collaborations with fellow SNL alum and Weekend Update co-host Amy Poehler, including their multiple amazing stints as Golden Globes hosts. I wish you could feel the excitement in this room. You can smell the pills from here. Recently, Faye had a starring role in Pixar's acclaimed Soul. Though Faye's achievements on SNL are amazing on their own, we're so glad she's stayed so productive. I am headed home for a nooner, which is what I call having pancakes for lunch. Number 5. Mike Myers Mike Myers had a knack for playing larger-than-life characters on SNL, and he played metalhead Wayne Campbell in two films. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. But the iconic roles kept coming after he left the show. The Shrek and Austin Powers films became blockbusters thanks to Myers and his willingness to go far for a laugh. You can't stop me now, Mr. Powers. I have your mojo, and I'm taking it with me to the moon. After making a few not-so-good movies, Myers spent some time away from the spotlight. However, he's made a bit of a comeback recently, appearing in Bohemian Rhapsody and creating and starring on The Pentaverate. Meyer's contributions to comedy can be largely summed up in one word. Excellent. Number 4. Kristen Wiig Kristen Wiig auditioned for SNL as the now famous Target Lady, so we're not surprised she got cast. Sunscreen, nose plugs, I wear nose plugs around the house when my neighbor cooks broccoli. Through characters like this and mischievous schoolgirl Gilly, Wiig brought a special kind of energy to the show. She made such an impression that she received a massive send-off when she left. You've meant quite a lot to us over this past seven years. She got held back. So our music department got together and prepared a song to say goodbye. Woo! This one's for you. Wig's resume has remained impressive in the years since, starring on animated series Bless the Hearts and in multiple live-action and animated films. Hey, girls! How are things in row B, huh? I put together some fun activities for the trip. <laughs> Who is up for some gin rummy? She's also made her mark in superhero movies, playing a villain in Wonder Woman 1984. Villain or not, we'll always think of Wig as a Wonder Woman. But even though things have changed around here, I am still so happy to be home. Because tonight... <laughs> tonight is a special night. Number 3. Will Ferrell we don't know what SNL in the 90s would have looked like without Will Ferrell, but it would have certainly been a lot less funny. I hate my job! Ferrell had the ability to make his fellow cast members, and us, crack up without saying a single word. That wasn't a fluke, as he went on to make comedies like Elf and Anchorman even more hilarious than they already were. I'm in a glass case of emotion! Many of Ferrell's characters tend to be immature and obnoxious, but they're also lovable. And he's shown his dramatic chops in works like Stranger Than Fiction and The Shrink Next Door. If Will Ferrell is part of something, he's all but guaranteed to improve it. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Number 2. Dana Carvey Like Will Ferrell, Dana Carvey famously played President Bush on SNL. However, Carvey portrayed the elder Bush. If we do go to war, I can assure you it will not be another Vietnam. Because we have learned well the simple lesson of Vietnam, stay out of Vietnam. And while you can dispute the accuracy of his impression, you can't dispute the hilarity. Characters like this and the church lady made Carvey one of SNL's most essential cast members. And Wayne's world wouldn't have been the same without him. With me as always is Garth. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. It likely seemed his fame would only grow from there. Unfortunately, his sketch show was short-lived, and his big-screen turn in The Master of Disguise was not well-received. But Carvey's limited screen presence in recent years hasn't diminished our love for his best work. The, the show has always had great people, and no cast is better than any other cast. Except for my cast, um, <laughs> which is undeniable. 86 and 93 was the best. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Chevy Chase. This original cast member reached a new generation starring on Community. Tell me how to get this laid back, or I'll kill your families! Adam Sandler. After giving us the Hanukkah song on SNL, Sandler went on to become a comedy superstar. I was fired. I was fired. I was fired, so sad to tell. Maya Rudolph. The funny lady can now be seen on the comedy series Loot. Molly Novak, I'm the executive director of your foundation. Wait, what? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind coming into the office tomorrow. I have an office? Dan Aykroyd. 
This SNL legend recently returned to the Ghostbusters franchise alongside Bill Murray. I don't remember this job being so painful. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eddie Murphy When Eddie Murphy joined the cast of SNL, the show was in a rough spot creatively. But not only did Murphy manage to survive a tumultuous time for the show, many argue he saved it. In his four seasons, Murphy created characters both uproarious and subversive. Oh, and did we mention he hosted the show while he was still a cast member? And it's, it was fun working with these kids this week, I had a great time. Incredibly, that was just the start of Murphy's success. His one-of-a-kind energy made hits out of movies both explicit and family-friendly. A run of uninspired movies in the 2000s led to a hiatus. But in 2019, Murphy drew praise for starring in biopic Dolomite Is My Name and returning to SNL to host. The reaction speaks for itself. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.